Dr. Joseph Maroon, a neurosurgeon at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and panelist at the recent Global Aging Consortium, struggled to climb a flight of stairs at age 40. I was out of shape, living on fast food and not exercising, he wrote on his website. That year, his father died and his physical and mental health reached rock bottom. But after a friend suggested, he try running to ease his depression. He started making gradual lifestyle changes, taking up more exercise and eating better. By age 53, Maroon had signed up for his first triathlon and has since completed eight in total. Last year, Maroon came second in his age category for the 2022 National Senior Games Triathlon. Maroon previously shared how he stays fit and explained his diet principles. Maroon said he follows the Mediterranean diet, which has been named the best way to eat by U.S. News and World Report for seven years in a row. It's not a diet in the way you might think, but more a way of eating that centers around healthy choices rather than restriction. It's mostly plant-based, focusing on whole foods, including fruits and vegetables, whole grains, beans and legumes, and healthy fats such as olive oil. It includes some fatty fish and red meat on occasion. The diet has been linked to a multitude of health benefits, including a lower risk of heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. Ultra-processed foods are made using techniques that are difficult to recreate at home and may include additives including salts, sugars, and saturated fats, according to the NOVA scale, which categorizes foods by how processed they are. An easy way to tell if something is ultra-processed is if it doesn't look like its ingredients, such as protein bars or hot dogs. UPFs have been linked to an increased risk of illnesses, including cancer, dementia, and cardiovascular disease. Trans fats can increase levels of bad LDL cholesterol in the blood while decreasing levels of good HDL cholesterol, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke, according to Dana Ellis-Huns a senior dietitian at UCLA Medical Center. Artificial trans fats are made when vegetable oil is hydrogenated. They were commonly found in packaged, ultra-processed foods until the Food and Drugs Administration declared trans fats unsafe to eat in 2015. The FDA gave food manufacturers three years to remove trans fats from their products, so most foods no longer contain them. However, Foods can still legally contain under 0.5 grams of trans fats, registered dietitian Kristen Gillespie, so it can be worth watching out for them. They typically appear in ingredient lists as partially hydrogenated oil in foods such as margarine, pre-made pie crust, non-dairy coffee creamer, and packaged baked goods. The healthiest diet involves avoiding a whole lot of things that people like to eat, Maroon said, including sugar. Dr. Heidi Tissenbaum, a professor in molecular cell and cancer biology at the University of Massachusetts Medical School, says that in her research, removing added sugar from the diet of roundworms, which are used to model human health span, was linked to increased longevity. It's thought this is because when the body metabolizes sugar, it produces byproducts that are associated with an increased risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, chronic kidney, and Alzheimer's disease. It's also important to keep blood sugar levels stable to prevent wearing out the mechanism the pancreas uses to regulate spikes, which can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Avoiding ultra-processed foods, which tend to be high in added sugar, can help with this, as can eating more fiber-filled whole foods, which help to regulate blood sugar levels. Thank you kindly for your attention. Have a nice day.